Hey SRL, it's time to show you how to use a piece of equipment that can be really intimidating for students and teachers, external audio recorders. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll be in love with them, trust me. Some cameras have professional audio inputs called XLR inputs that microphones plug into. These are the most reliable inputs to record good audio through. When your camera comes with XLR inputs, you have a better chance of recording quality audio with your video. This style of recording is called single system recording. Other cameras don't have XLR inputs and may not have the best internal microphone systems. To up your chances of recording pristine sound, it's recommended that you use an external recording device to capture quality audio. This style of recording is called double system recording. Many student recording labs rely on DSLR cameras to shoot their video pieces. These cameras are great for making beautiful moving images, but they don't have XLR inputs and they're not ideal for recording good audio. Many students aren't aware of this and instead record audio using the DSLR's internal mic when they're shooting video. It sounds like this. Notice how I sound right now? We're using the internal microphone on our camera to record this. The internal microphone on your DSLR is omnidirectional, meaning that right now it's recording all sounds around the camera at equal volume, but it's not picking up my voice very strongly. Because of this, you won't be able to capture the best quality audio with this internal mic. Students also try to capture better audio with the DSLR by plugging their shotgun mic into either the mic or headphone input. But this doesn't really solve the problem. Think about it. If you're plugging your shotgun mic into the headphone input of the camera, then you can't hear the audio that's being recorded. This means you can't monitor your levels or listen for audio interference. Also, if the mic is mounted to the top of your camera, it's probably not going to be close enough to your subject to pick up quality audio. So how can you simultaneously capture great audio, but also listen to that audio while it's being recorded? By using an external audio recorder. So what's the hype around external recorders? External recorders were created specifically to capture audio. The two most common types you'll run into are the Tascam and the Zoom recorder. In fact, many professionals prefer to record their audio this way. Recorders come with multiple XLR inputs where you can attach many microphones. Here are some best practices to consider when using external recorders. Set your audio to record as a WAV file or an AIFF file. This format will give you the highest quality audio. Do not record as an MP3 file because MP3 files are compressed, lower quality versions of your raw audio. Make sure to set your audio to record in 44.1 kHz at 16 bit. Set your settings to record audio in mono. What does that mean? It means that each source of sound you record, for example, an interview subject or a room's natural tone, will be recorded on its own individual channel. Your video and audio tracks will all record separately and it will be up to you to sync them together during post-production. Now let's talk in detail about audio syncing. Remember the differences between single systems and double systems? The advantage to using a single system is that you are recording both your video and highest quality audio simultaneously through the camera. Your sound and your video record in sync. In sync video sounds like this. Um, people believe everything that they see on social media like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. In a single system, there is no extra step to sync your video and audio in post-production. But have you ever had this experience? Um, people believe everything that they see on social media like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Notice how the person's audio and video are not coming out together in real time? Usually they don't even like look up the site or look up anything to see if it's true or false. They just go off of what the media says. The sound and picture appear disconnected or off by a few milliseconds. This audio and video are out of sync. One way to make the process of syncing easier is to create sync points during shooting. In a double system, you are recording your video and audio tracks separately, which means you need to take the extra step of manually syncing your audio and video together in post-production. I suggest clapping, snapping, or using a clapper slate at the beginning of each take so you can easily sync your tracks later. That way, when you get to post-production, you can match the video and audio tracks easily by listening and looking for those sync points. Stand up at Sherlington Park, take one.
It's the first time in 10 years that this neighborhood has seen a new playground. We'll hear from local residents and more. Hopefully now, external audio recorders make a little more sense. Following our best practices will help you level up your pieces. Good luck! <laughs>